Hello there, happy Friday. So I am with you today for, as promised, pole fit workout. So this is a workout that I have really enjoyed um, doing with people because it's kind of that, based off the um, high intensity interval training, and I call it pole fit because of course that's what we're trying to do is get that pole fit body. So I love to do the pole fit workouts with your strength drills and then incorporate some stretches or some easier kind of full body movements that stay grounded, kind of like your body rolls and things like that. So if you think of the whole, you know, high intensity interval training, you can do that in um, intervals that can be, I like to flip flop them. Sometimes we'll do 20 seconds hard and then 10 seconds uh, kind of easier, or depending on the move, you could do um, 40 second hard and 20 second rest or easier move. And um, we're gonna cycle through those and then do a one minute rest and then repeat it. So high intensity is great because it gets, um, gets the high intensity workout in there fast. It burns fat. Um, like I said, I like to do it for pole and, and it gives that quick workout. So if you're short on time, this is the workout to do. So this one that we're going to do, if you do two um, cycles of it, it's going to be a 10 minute workout. You can certainly do more. I'm just going to take you through the first part. If you want to repeat it again, you're free to do that on your own. So with that being said, we're going to do 20 seconds uh, hard, 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do moves that, it's four moves, but we're gonna do um, right and left. So it's gonna be a total of eight moves by the time we're done this pole fit circuit. All right, you with me? Let's get to it. So I'm gonna hit my timer. So you wanna make sure you have a timer that you can easily do it on your phone. I have mine already set and we're going to jump into it. Let's see, and Go. So we're going to start right arm. You're pulling down on that shoulder. It's a leap and lunge. Outside leg, leap, big lunge back. Watching that knee, leap, big lunge back. So you're driving the pole into the floor, soft and gentle as you land. Again, leap, lunge. You're going to take this lunge and hold it. Here's your rest for those 10 seconds. Take a breath. Make sure that knee's over that ankle. Next one, we're gonna hook that right leg and do some side crunches here. So hook it nice and high, push that hip forward, reach, crunch. You can add any variations here to make it more challenging with those arms. You can add both arms out like you're carrying a heavy ball. You can move that foot closer to the pole. Side stretch here. So with that, you wanna keep moving. So it's easy, but you're moving. The next one is fan kicks. So strong hold here, pulling down that pole, nice and tight through the body. Tuck that pelvis, switch. You're bringing it back, shoulders down, wide over. Nice and strong and in control, again. And we keep going. As you can see, 20 seconds is long enough, isn't it? Body roll. So again, I like to put the body rolls in. They stay grounded, but they move the whole body. This would be our rest move, right? All right, right hand on top, right leg. Step up, kick, switch. So you're keeping the shoulders back and down, driving that pull into the floor as you lift and kick. Again, step up and kick. Pulling down, making sure those shoulders are away from your ears, body roll. That's your rest point for that breather. Yep. We're going to switch. Left arm. Leap and lunge. Outside leg. Leap. Big lunge back. Watching that knee. Leap and lunge. Again. So we're just repeating this whole sequence on the opposite side. Yep. Hold. Knee over that ankle. Catch your breath. It's better with music <laughs> because then you don't hear yourself breathing. Like I do. All right, and hook that left leg. Ready? Reach it out. Reach and crunch. Again, add any of those arm variations. Certainly, 
make it harder. You can paint brush, floor and ceiling. You can add both arms or you can stay where you are. Side stretch, out and in, keeping that movement. Are you with me? And again, fan kick. So left arm low, nice and tight. Strong and control all the way through. Again, pulling down on that pole. Shoulders back and down. Legs tight and strong. And again. Body roll here. So again, driving that pull into the floor. Really working all the way through. Ready for that step up. Left arm up. Left leg step up and switch. So again, keeping those shoulders back and down, pulling down on the pole. Up kick. Again. Body roll is coming. Here it is. Body roll. Driving that pole into the floor. And catching your breath. So there's your one minute rest. When that minute is over, you're going to repeat that whole cycle again. Take another one minute rest. If that's it for you, then you can call it a day there or you can go through it again. So however much time you have or you want to do, but again, with the high intensity interval training, you don't need to work out for all that length of time. It's short, high intensity bursts. So I like to do that as strength and then you can get into your dance or whatever it is that you're working on. Or if that's all that you have at that time, stay with that. Oh, got my heart rate up. Anyway, so let me know if you have any questions. If you, uh, you can reply back here, you can email me, reach out, and uh, 